What's up guys, I'm Dave Lipson and welcome to Shirtless Cooking with Dave. Today, I'm gonna take you through a typical meal that I prepare for myself during cutting season. Now, when I make my meals during cutting season, there are a couple big considerations that I'm thinking about with regard to the things that I'm eating. Number one, I wanna make sure that I'm in a caloric deficit. So I'm not gonna eat as much as I need to maintain my current mass because I wanna to start to actually lose and metabolize body fat. Number two, I wanna make sure that I can actually try to maintain as much of my lean muscle mass as possible, which means my protein intake will go up a little bit higher, my carbohydrates and fat intake will come down a little bit lower, and I'm gonna have a positive nitrogen balance to try to hold on to as much mass as I can. So here's a typical meal for me. I'll start every meal just by putting some spinach in the bottom of my bowl. Spinach has very little calories, but it's really good micronutrients, and for me, the potassium in spinach is particularly helpful because I struggle with cramps, especially when my training volume goes up, or the frequency increases, I wanna make sure that I don't have any hiccups. Another thing I'll do is I'll put in some micronutrients from some other vegetables. I like peppers because they're a low gas vegetable, so they're a little bit easier to digest. Nothing too egregious, just a couple peppers in there. These are sliced. Again, we haven't really hit any type of major calories yet, okay? So that's what I'm starting with. There are the micronutrients. The next thing that's gonna go in are the carbohydrates. So what I do is I take a bag of Uncle Ben's rice, this has approximately 100 grams of carbohydrate in it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take half of it in each. So 50 grams of carbs goes in each bag. Boom, that was a little bit more. So why don't I just fucking do that? Boom, all right, now we're even. So I eat more carbs around training before and after. My carbohydrate intake is actually a little bit lower during the other parts of the day. So as I'm getting ready for a training session, I make sure that I get at least 50 grams of carbohydrates before and after. At this point, now I'm ready to add my protein. So what I do is I weigh and measure my protein and I prefer lean chicken breast for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a little easier for me to digest and assimilate. It's a little bit leaner than say red meat. And in general, for some reason, I just feel like I get really lean when I start eating chicken breast. I wanna get about 50 grams of chicken breast, of uh, protein from the chicken breast in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count out seven ounces of chicken breast. And I just kinda uh, tear it up like that. Each chicken breast is anywhere from like four to five ounces. So in general, it's usually about two chicken breasts worth, depending on how big uh, the breast that you're taking, how big that breast is. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I like the big breasts. The small ones are fun too though. Um, okay, so I'm at five grams, I just, uh, or five ounces, and now I'm at six and a half and maybe this little slice here, and holy shit, now I'm at seven and a quarter, so that's plenty. So there's one meal, 50 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, that'll be before my training. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for my post-workout meal. So here we go, I'm just starting to add in. Um, actually, I gotta zero this out first. Make sure you start on zero. So I like to put the ingredients in first and then zero it out, so it's a little easier to weigh the protein, or the chicken in this case. Um, Cammie's so good to me. She makes the chicken breast for me. She's helping me prepare. So having somebody that's help, uh, helping you cook the food in bulk volume makes it a little easier to kind of prepare and be very accurate with your food. Um, but even if I did it myself, it doesn't take super long. Um, so now, boom, I'm at exactly seven. There's another meal. The last thing we're gonna do is add in the fat. And this stuff, it's very plain, like plain white rice, spinach with nothing on it, plain chicken breast, doesn't have a lot of taste. But what I do is I get these, my favorite, Blue Diamond Wasabi Soy Almonds. This has a little bit of salt, it's also good. And I count out uh, 15 almonds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And same thing over here. That gives me my fat. I'm looking to get anywhere between 15 to 20 grams of fat in each meal over the course of six meals. Usually I'm never eating more than 120 grams of fat in a day. So there are your finished products. Typical meal during cutting season. I will eat roughly six of these, give or take some carbohydrates and fat. Um, and that puts me right at about 300 grams of protein, plus a couple protein shakes and I'm able to hit my daily protein requirement to try to hold on to muscle. Enjoy.